when Wendy Hamriding was knocked unconscious after drunkenly falling down a flight of stairs at home, she could never have imagined the horror she would wake up to. In an attempt to revive her, her panicked dog Cassie began to nibble at her face, but not knowing when to stop, gnawed at her until she'd eaten her right eye and the bone around her socket. Well, far from being bitter or angry, Wendy says she owes her life to Cassie. And Wendy is here now to talk about her story. And welcome, Hi. Wendy. It's really lovely to meet you. Nice to meet um, you. If we go back to the beginning, you're a mother of two grown-up sons. Um, yeah. Until December 2011, you lived a rather lonely existence with mm. your dog, Cassie, who actually you described as your best friend. Yeah. But the problem was that you had another best friend, and that was alcohol. Yeah. Um, your relationship with alcohol didn't really get too out of control until 2007, mm. at which point your daily habit accelerated hugely. What mm. was the reasons for that? I can't really give you a reason. I lost a volunteer job, and I was bored. Um, but that wasn't really a reason. I was always a binge drinker. I never... I couldn't stop at one. I'd have to have a full bockhole. Yes. Um, and I think I, just, I was bored and it just got out of hand, wandering led to another and then another and another. And before I knew, when I realised I'd got a problem and I tried to stop, it was too late then. Yeah. I couldn't do. And so I when you were it. drinking at, at mm. the most, how much were you drinking? Oh, I can't really tell you the truth to that because I don't know, because I were comatose most days off the drink. Yeah. But I'd say on a bad day, a litre and a half of vodka. Mm -hmm. And your family were really very, very worried about you. My right? sons, they pleaded with me to stop drinking, but the yeah. drink was more important than my sons, and that's how it becomes for an alcoholic. Nothing matters. Yes. Well, you Just say, that next you, drink. You say the urge for oblivion was stronger than the love of family. Yeah. Gosh, and that's, that's what a sad state that's to, to that's get horrible. into. That's horrible. Well, this day in December 2011, you'd yeah. gone on, and this is how you started every day. At yeah. this point, you'd get up, you'd walk to the off licence, yeah. you'd go and buy your bottle of vodka, and you'd come back. Um, and I'd neck it before I got home. You'd I'd neck put it, it in before somebody's you got home. bed, I'll tell truth. So, what do you remember of that day? Because it was in the evening. The last thing you sort of remember was going to the bathroom. I walked my dog, I came home. I went to the bathroom. I remember that vividly because I had a lot to drink. But I remember going. The next thing I remember, I woke up at the bottom of stairs and I thought, I can't see out my right eye. I think it's gone. Luckily, I wasn't in pain because she deadened a lot of my nerve ends and I was still really drunk. Yeah. So that deadened the pain as well. Tell me about tell me about Cassie the dog before before we find out what she actually did. Because what sort of a dog was she? she what was what a, breed was she? She was a Manchester Terrier Ridgeback cross, but she was more Terrier than Ridgeback. People know. She was only about that big, mm. literally. Yeah. She only she was snappy. Yeah. She did, she had her likes and dislikes. I won't lie about her. If she didn't like you, she'd go for you. But I could control her. Yeah. It was just the breed, she, the mix. She must have been about hourly strong. You had it for ten years. So I you had, had a ten good years. It wasn't like a new it. dog that you didn't overly no, know that well. No, I weaned well. her from four weeks old. She was going to be drowned in a bucket to tell you the truth, and I took it to get her a home. And you saved her. And I ended up saving her, and she um, saved me eventually. Well, yes, she? and that's the incredible yeah. story. But, but she'd never, she'd never bitten you before. She, she yeah, gone... she had bitten me. I sat on her one day. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, she right. knows she was there, and she went for me viciously. Yeah, because yeah. she was only small and she was nervous yeah. and hourly strong, and she. Did, but I knew how to handle her and stop her and yeah. back her off. Mm. But she did. She she made him part. She caught me arm. Yeah. But yeah. nothing drastic. No. It was just a, a way. She was protecting herself. Well, you don't really remember much of what happened, but you'd fallen down the mm. stairs. Um, you were there. For, you were lying there for around about seven hours. Yes. And she'd obviously started to try and wake you. Yes. To kind of bring you out of this. Like you said, mm. you were comatose. Um, and. That's when she was trying to wake you by yeah. biting you, and she then started to nibble away at the eye. Yeah, well, she knew what she's done. I cut the bridge on my nose when I fall downstairs. So she's been cleaning the blood away. The police and the surgeons reckon because they could tell by the way she chewed at me. And the police have come across this many times, they say. It, it is, it's quite common. So um, she started cleaning me, they said. And then we're not being able to wake me up. She started panicking because we slept together and everything. Mm. She slept with me and if, as far as There's she knew, I just there. wasn't waking up, no. Yeah. So she took it a stage further where she started licking my eyelids, they think, and that's not work. So then she's nibbled um, and as she's nibbled um, she's got a bit frantic and then she started tugging. So there was quite a bit of damage. She took my forehead 
part of my head. Well, she, she was the bone, wasn't it, as well? It was yeah, the, the entire bone round to you, and... yeah. Um, and my arm broke, everything, everything went. She pulled it off, it's gone. Mm. But I lost my eye, but I got my liver back. Yeah. So I can see we are. Well, yeah, that's the incredible thing because you I mean you when you woke up in the morning, you mm. said you couldn't feel your eye. You knew that you knew that I something knew was very wrong because you couldn't see. Mm. Um, and that and looked in the mirror. Yeah. What did what what did it look like when you looked in I the looked mirror? In the mirror, stood there, stared calm. I thought this is bad. It went like that. That's when all the debris come away. I saw my forehead. I saw the skull. I thought, oh. Did you I, wonder I how it had happened? I did thought you know I'd been mugged. Yeah. I thought I'd had another drink. You and didn't I'd think gone it was out. the dog no, at all. No, I didn't think it was a dog at all, no. But your reaction was to smile. Your immediate yeah. reaction, you looked in the mirror and was to smile because you knew at that point that you couldn't go to the off-licence No, day. I couldn't, and I was so happy. But so Even innately inside, you knew that you wanted to be dry. You wanted I, to be I away from I wanted to this. be dry for a long time, and if it meant losing my eye and getting my liver back, I was fine with that. I was fine.